Once upon a time, in a world of endless possibilities, I decided to embark on an adventure unlike any other. I named this new world Paw Patrol and entered a special seed known as Paw Patrol Seed. With excitement bubbling inside me, I watched as the world loaded around me. To my amazement, I found myself in a quaint village, donned in fully geared netherite armor and equipped with diamond tools. But what really caught my eye was the colossal structure looming in the background. It was a tower, painted in brilliant shades of blue and red, showcasing details that would dazzle anyone who laid eyes on it. As I introduced my fellow explorers to this video, my heart raced with the anticipation of what lay ahead. Turning around to fully view the tower, I was taken aback by its majesty. It was, without a doubt, the largest structure I had ever seen in all my Minecraft travels. Its colors and details hinted at something familiar. It resembled the base of the Paw Patrol. The sense of adventure was palpable, and I knew this was just the beginning of an unforgettable journey in the Paw Patrol Sea, a vast canvas of blues and whites stretching endlessly above. Curious and eager, I approached the entrance of this grand tower. There, standing guard in his striking blue uniform, was Chase, the most loyal pup of the Paw Patrol. I tiptoed closer, my steps silent on the soft grass, planning to surprise him. As I reached him, I exclaimed with a friendly shout, causing him to spin around in surprise. Chase's face lit up with joy upon seeing me. He wagged his tail enthusiastically and seemed eager to share some exciting news. As Chase and I stood at the base of the tower, his face suddenly took on a look of concern. His eyes met mine, filled with worry, and it was clear he was grappling with how to break some distressing news. Finally, after a moment of hesitation, Chase's voice broke the silence. There's trouble, he confessed, his tone grave. The cartoon cats from Mayor Homdinger's Kitten Catastrophe crew have invaded. We need to save this tower and protect everyone inside. I knew instantly these cats were no ordinary foes. They were the notorious rivals of the Paw Patrol, almost like their evil twins. And with that, he beckoned me inside, into the heart of the Paw Patrol Tower. Chase explained how each area was specially designed for the pup's various missions. We must reach the top, I thought, my resolve hardening. And with Chase by my side, I felt ready to face whatever challenges awaited us in the heights of the Paw Patrol Tower. With no time to lose, Chase and I hurried into the tower. As we entered, the interior's beauty struck me. Surprisingly, amidst the exquisite decor, a sheep meandered by, adding to the tower's quirky charm. As we ascended the first staircase, I marveled at the craftsmanship. The tower was not only stunning from the outside, but also meticulously detailed inside. With each step upward, we discovered numerous rooms, each with its unique theme and purpose. The higher we climbed, the more I realized just how vast the tower was. It seemed to stretch up towards the sky, room after room. Making sure Chase was right behind me, we continued our ascent. With each floor, the urgency of our mission grew, but so did our determination to thwart the plans of the Kitten Catastrophe crew. As I reached the final floor of the towering structure, a ladder appeared before me, leading up to what seemed to be the last room. My heart pounded with anticipation as I began to climb. Halfway up, a sudden pause overtook me. The tension in the air was palpable. I gathered my courage, then continued my ascent. Upon reaching the top, I paused again, this time in awe. The open skies greeted me. With a deep breath, I faced the fleet of stairs ahead. Then, out of the shadows, Cat Marshall appeared, descending the stairs with menacing slowness. Startled, I turned to retreat, only to find Cat Zuma emerging from the other side. Cornered with nowhere left to turn, just as fear began to grip me, Chase emerged behind me his presence a comforting reassurance. You can do this, his eyes seemed to say, urging me forward. With Chase's encouragement bolstering my resolve, I turned back to face the stairs. My eyes widened in surprise. There, waiting at the top, was not just Cat Rocky, but also Ryder himself, seated regally on what looked like a throne. The scene before me was not what I expected. The cats weren't attacking, and Ryder appeared to be in a peaceful negotiation with them. 
How could this be? I wondered silently, my mind racing with confusion. Approaching Ryder with hesitant steps, I could feel the tension ease slightly. Ryder, what's happening here? I asked, my voice echoing slightly in the vast open space atop the tower. Ryder turned to me with a calm smile, the kind that always reassured us during missions. Don't worry, the cats won't harm anyone at the moment, he explained gently. We've come to an understanding. He then shared that he had negotiated a truce with the cats in exchange for some food, and in return, they disclosed the location of Mayor Humdinger, who had captured Rubble and was holding him in a jail. The Kitten Catastrophe crew, known for their cunning and chaos, would not deter me. My heart leapt at the news and a new resolve filled me. Ryder, seeing my eagerness to help, gestured towards a diamond armor stand. You'll need to gear up if you're going to rescue Rubble, he advised. With no time to lose, I walked over to the armor stand. The diamond armor gleamed under the light, each piece crafted to perfection, promising safety and strength. As I equipped the armor, I felt a surge of courage. I also equipped myself with the tools from the chest nearby, not forgetting the golden apples that would surely come in handy later. I turned to Ryder, realizing that descending the traditional way would take too long for our urgent rescue mission. We need a quicker way down, I declared, already formulating a plan in my mind. With a determined nod, I led Ryder and Chase to the other side of the tower. There, before their curious eyes, I broke the window, creating an opening that revealed the vast world outside. I reached into my inventory and gripped the water bucket I had earlier retrieved from the chest. Carefully, I poured the water out of the window, watching as it cascaded down the side of the tower, forming a makeshift waterfall. Follow me and be quick, I instructed as I bravely stepped into the flowing water. The descent was swift and exhilarating. The water carried us safely to the ground below. Chase followed closely behind, his paws splashing in the water as we landed gently on the soft earth. We glanced back at the tower with a mix of awe and respect, acknowledging the adventure it had housed. As we turned away from the tower, a grand sight caught my eye. A large, imposing red mansion stood ominously in the distance. Its windows glinted under the sun's rays, and its gates seemed to dare us to approach. That must be where Mayor Humdinger is keeping rubble, I thought, my resolve hardening. As Chase and I approached the large, imposing mansion, our steps cautious yet determined, I couldn't help but glance back at the towering structure we had descended from moments ago. The sight of it standing tall against the sky filled me with a sense of accomplishment and bravery. As we neared the mansion, I spotted Mayor Humdinger lurking near the side of the house, his presence unmistakable. Suddenly, as we hopped around the building, analyzing it for any signs of danger, I caught a glimpse of rubble inside, looking distressed but hopeful. As we made our approach, Mayor Humdinger spotted us, and his face twisted in anger. You've meddled enough, he shouted furious that we had dismantled his cat crew's allegiance. His words were harsh as he accused us of turning his own cats against him. An intense battle ensued between me and Mayor Humdinger. I dodged and weaved, using every skill I had learned in my adventures. The fight was fierce, with each of us vying for the upper hand. But as the battle wore on, it became clear that Mayor Humdinger was struggling without his cats to aid him. In the end, his efforts were futile against my determination and the skills honed from my many challenges. With Ryder and Chase at my side, I felt prepared to face whatever challenges this new obstacle might present. Together, we would rescue our friend and bring justice to Mayor Humdinger's doorstep. As Mayor Humdinger yielded, defeated, and weary, I turned my gaze once again towards the tower. In a moment of triumph, I took an arrow and shot it towards the sky, a signal to Ryder that the battle was won. The arrow soared, a shining beacon of our victory. As I stepped inside the mansion, the truth of the place was revealed. It wasn't a mansion at all, but a jail cloaked in grandeur. Iron bars stood before me, a grim reminder of the peril rubble faced. Without hesitation, I smashed the bars, clearing my way to reach my friend. Inside, Rubble was waiting, his eyes lighting up as I entered. Thank you, he barked gratefully, relieved to be saved from his confines. After ensuring Rubble was free and safe, I hurried outside, determined to update Ryder on our success. 
Along the way, I broke a tree, collecting the wood necessary to build our way back to where Ryder was waiting. He hadn't made it all the way down with us. Instead, he had stayed back, watching the confrontation from a distance. Beside me, Chase watched intently, pride evident in his stance. Nearing the tower, I realized we needed more material. I chopped down another tree, gathering more wood to ensure we had enough. We had done it. We had saved rubble and defeated Maya Humdinger, restoring peace once again to our world. With the wooden planks ready, I started building directly beneath where Ryder was perched on the balcony. I climbed higher and higher until I was just under him. Carefully, I removed a block from the balcony to speak to him. The plan worked, Ryder. Rubble is safe, I announced. After sharing the news, I broke the planks around me to re-enter the tower. With hearts full of courage and the bond of friendship stronger than ever, we were ready to face any new adventures that lay ahead. Back inside, I gathered everyone together. I felt a wave of relief wash over me. I shared a heartfelt thanks to everyone who had watched our adventure. Thanks for being with us on this incredible journey in the Paw Patrol Seed. As we stood together, the feeling of unity and accomplishment filled the air, marking the end of an extraordinary chapter in our Minecraft world.